Good day friends, I am standing among the ruins of the Gaur Pancha Court. The Gaur Pancha Court is nearly 300 years old and it date back, dates back to the time of Alivardi Khan. Alivardi Khan had become the ruler of West Bengal or the Nawab of West Bengal by defeating Sarfaraj Khan. Sarfaraj's brother-in-law brother defied Alivardi Khan and tried to usurp the throne but he failed many a times. So he sought the help of the Marathas, the Maratha King Bhosle. During that time, during that time, a Bhosle sent a cavalry of, may, of nearly 1,400 men who came to be known as the Burgis. These Burgis once attacked and destroyed the Panchakot Palace and totally destroyed it. The, ki the king of Ponchakot Palace fled and his 17 wives committed suicide by throwing themselves into the well. After this, the Ponchakot Palace has laid in ruins. These are the ruins of the Ponchakot Palace. The structure that you can see is the entrance to the, pon to the palace. Next, by following this road, this road consists of a lot of stones, so you must be careful. See friends, today my wife is not here with me. She could not come owing to urgent work. So I alone have to be my own photographer as well as the explorer, which can be a bit difficult. So please excuse me if the video is a little shaky at places. This was supposed to be one of the living quarters of the place. I wonder how the Borghese looted the place. It's literally in ruins. I'll now take you further and show you the other play, other ruins. The place is totally lying in ruins in, in pieces. It's literally in pieces. As you can see, this is a widely explored tourist place in West Bengal. Many tourists come here every day. There is the main entrance to the palace and from here you can see this was the courtyard. Where I'm standing is supposed to be the courtyard of the palace and there was the entrance to the palace. It has been worn down by time. The place is literally in ruins. This was a door but it's, in a, it's impossible to access these doors. As you can see friends, in front of me is the huge Panchakot hill. So isn't it majestic and beautiful? Now I'm proceeding towards the watchtower. The watchtower of the Panchakot palace. The watchtower is one of the few structures which is still identifiable despite the fact that it has been largely ruined. As you can see, the watchtower is totally intact. Well, almost totally intact.
I'll put down a detailed history of this place in my description box. Beside the ruins of the palace, there lies a lake. Now I'll walk down from here to the Ponchako temple with an ancient structure which has been reconstructed after the attack. This is the only structure in this whole place which has been reconstructed even after the attack. As you can see, this is the Ponchiko temple, the only structure which has been a bit reconstructed after the attack. Unlike the other places, this place is almost intact. The other places of the Ponchiko palace are in ruins. Uh, let me see if I can get anyone to tell me the history of this place. I know about it only in bits and pieces. My knowledge is only limited to Wikipedia. This is another, another majestic piece of structure from the ruins of the Ponchakot Palace. What does it appear to be? I think it looks like some kind of door. I'll have to find out something more about its history. As you can see, the hills look majestic in the backdrop. Let me try to get the ruins. Of, let me try to capture the ruins of the Ponchakot Palace from another angle. This is a holy shrine, 
a shrine of Lord Shiva located inside the temple. Sorry, inside the ruins of the palace. Let me take a look from another side. As you can see, this is a view from another side. I'll try to move over the ruins so that I can show you everything. These are pieces of these are pieces of the structure which have been destroyed in the ruin by the Burgis, the Marathi Burgis, sent by King Bhosle. to be careful here Yeah. That's all for now friends. I wish you a very good day. Take care and I'll try and see if I can find out anything more about the history of this place. If I can I'll make another video on this place before I leave. Till then take care. If you like this video please click a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Take care.